Now I've got the solar panels that'll actually go on there and the four solar panels that will be on the piece out here or maybe out there, I don't know, they're the same. And I adjusted them so the connectors aren't touching each other and they're all in good spots to like kind of fit together. So I have to take these two of them, put them on there, see where the hinges line up. I flipped it over because I think uh, I want the hinges on that side on this one just because all right this side looks like it's pretty much where it should be so I need to make hinges to fit this the pivot point right in the middle there Ooh, look. I think I can use that so nice having a spot on the boat that's in the shade and you know what when those two side flaps are on if I just like flap them both down they'll be like this it'll make like a nice little shade house in here well that's gonna be excellent oh I just realized I want to be able to fold this side down first or the other side down first so I'm gonna have to make the hinges give a little bit of space so that if the other side's folded down, there's enough space in there for it to be there. Yeah, so I'll just add a little bit. I think if my total hinge height is seven centimeters, that should be plenty. And the hinge pin right at three and a half. And I'll use my, um, what are they called? Rivet leavens. I have uh, stainless steel rivets I've been using. And these end up being the garbage, so I'm going to use these as the hinge pins. Seven centimeters is about there. Yeah. That leaves me so I can have a little bit of extra space in there. Good. I think I'll use this little lip here to wrap around the hinge pin. So three and a half centimeters there. Maybe cut those that big. I don't know. How big should I make those? I think I got the technique now. Yeah, this should be not very difficult to make. I can test this from this side.
beauty. Oh, that's great. Let's do that three more times. I just got my last hinges on there, and I ended up taking these top flaps and offsetting them this way a little. Because when the solar panels are attached here, that will keep the connectors off the ribs. So I don't, I don't have to leave any space for them then, because they'll just fit in the space between the ribs. So originally they would end up right on the ribs, so now this is moved this way, they'll end up in the space. Beauty! Now how do I attach the solar panels? I'm probably going to rivet them on. I don't know, I'm going to think about it. And what else? Oh, there's a little bit of space on the front that I need to cover. So the, the middle row of solar panels is longer because I used the one glass solar panel. And on the back here, the top row is just offset back, so that covers this one that's sticking out a bit. So I'll need to put a little piece on the front. That's not a big deal though. Huh. Yeah. So I guess next is figure out how to attach these solar panels. Then I have to figure out how I'm going to hold these in place. Because this has to go like that over there, and then this one comes right here. And somehow it has to stay where I put it. With some poles with adjustable thingyizers or something. I don't know yet. I think it's dinner time right now. We can figure out all the rest later.